At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated futures trading systems are doing. Are they making money or are they losing money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over August, 2024. Let's hop right into it. It was a tough month for me, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all, sorry guys, I, there we go. All right, so here's my live account here. I will select it, hit generate, make sure that, good, and let's do percent. So down 17% for the month of August. One of my toughest months ever in trading. And honestly, it was kind of sort of that big red day on, or I guess it was a string of losses. Yeah, we had two or just, yeah, multiple, what, six, five or six loss days in a row with one being negative 6% in a single day. Uh, that was August 5th, 2024, where we saw that 5% sell-off over overnight session on the NASDAQ futures, and then it did rebound throughout the day. But I absolutely got crushed on the day. A lot of my systems just were trying to go short the rest of the day, and it kept getting bought up. So that obviously was a tough day. There was a string of losses. We did see a resurgence near the um, um end of the month, but continuing to, to lose money, I actually ended up sizing down um, through the latter half of the month, which has uh, has been beneficial for me. But yeah, unfortunately, you know, a, a that one terrible loss and the string of losses just was uh, obviously very detrimental to my portfolio. Um, I did end up taking out some strategies in favor of more gap fill strategies, which I saw on that day. So I'll show you the day that I'm talking about. If we go to, um, I'll just do the NASDAQ RTH session. Uh, August 5th. Yeah, so it was this day where there was a 5% sell-off in NQ, although the rest of the day did did come back, I think 2.5% around that range. And yeah, a lot of my systems are going short and you know one thing led to another, but yeah, it was, it was a big loss day. Um, and I didn't have, I mean, I looked at my other big losing days in the portfolio from the back test. Those big loss days also were the same patterns as what happened on August 5th, 2024. So maybe it kind of slipped through the cracks and one thing i've learned is to you know look at the largest losing days in your portfolio back test and understand why they happened what price action happened that day to better improve your portfolio uh, but it definitely was to be expected uh, it was a tough day so i mean to have that big loss day and then i think i had like five more losing days in a row after that although they were very small was tough uh, to handle and then we had a, a Big win day the next week, but obviously not enough to come back and then followed by a string of losses. So very tough, very tough month for me. Uh, one of my worst performing months percentage wise of all time. And what I've learned from this trading month is to focus on having a lower max drawdown and uh, also looking at, you know, largest losing days of the portfolio, understanding why you have, why, you know, what happened, what caused those uh, largest losing days, usually you're over leveraged in one area, maybe you have too many long only strategies, or too many trend following strategies, and, um, you know, fixing that. So that's sort of my lesson learned for the month. But you want to keep on trucking, we trade uh, automated strategies long and short, continue to do so. And, you know, so far still uh, trucking along, you know, I think it's important to be consistent and learn on a monthly basis uh, from my trading systems. So yeah, I think to just again to summarize, terrible month. Did learn that I need to focus on a lower max drawdown and having systems, or having more gap fill systems. Maybe I'll, I'll do a separate video on what gap fill strategies are, but those have done really well recently. More gap fill strategies focusing on on lowering your max drawdown and um, what's the other thing I mentioned? 
it was it's on the tip of my tongue right now. Oh, uh, looking at the largest losing day, understanding why that happened, the price action, why it happened, and looking at improving that either through adding or removing trading systems. So that's been, that's been my lesson learned for the month. I'm excited for September. We're going to see some more volatility with election season coming up. That is going to be exciting. Um, you know, I modeled some election seasons with my portfolio and back test says it's good. But once again, the back test, everyone that's watching the back test is always, you know, the best case scenario. And in reality, you know, you might get 70 or 80% of that, but you won't get all hundred percent of those back test results just because you have hindsight bias and new market data. And then there also might be mistakes as well. So excited for election season and hopefully we can bounce back from this uh, and keep going along. It's been, uh, it's been quite a year, but um, I love doing this. I love trading. I love finding the creative ways to find signals, test signals, build portfolios and uh, yeah, try to try to beat the market. So that's the video guys. I hope you found value in this. Let me know in the comments below. If you like these monthly, these monthly um, P and L videos, that'd be great. Um, and, and give me some feedback too on what more you want to see. If you like where we build the individual trading systems or building tools on top of the Ninja Trader platform, um, or talking about maybe historical stats and back tests as well. So let me know in the comments below, have a good labor day, long weekend, and we'll see you next week. Peace guys.